Hi, here is Klaas Nienhuis and I wanted to show you uh, some progress on an OpenStreetMap importer I've been making for 3ds Max. So it's a quick walkthrough. I would like to import uh, this city uh, into 3ds Max. So I uh, get an area of this. I put the right mouse and get these latitude and longitude values from a rectangle and I put them in here and I say download OpenStreetMap data it will connect to uh, the OpenStreetMap server and start downloading that area so the larger the area the more data you're downloading and um, yeah keep it small so it downloaded about 20 megabytes and now I'm going to import that data into 3ds Max and to get to the file it just downloaded and I'm saying make map from data this will import all the data as shapes and it's saying here there's about 22,000 shapes it's importing them and afterwards there are some more and it's just importing them as shapes without any geometry attached because there is no uh, geometry in OpenStreetMap it's it's just shapes here are some relations and there we go let me switch off the um, uh, lighting so there's actually uh, uh, quite a lot of stuff and uh, you can see it's about a rectangle I selected in um, in uh, Google Maps or uh, the coordinates I used but there's a lot of data outside of this uh, this is done so because some objects are larger uh, and are not bounded by the area you picked and I'm including the entire objects so we don't get any weird clipping so usually there are some administrative boundaries like provinces or cities but there's also uh, bus routes or uh, power lines or more bus routes, the train lines tend to go very long but I guess there's no train station here so um, I can't really uh, uh, do anything with this because it's just shape so I could start to extrude for instance if I would extrude uh, this to a certain height and then I, I get some volumes but of course this is very tedious so I included some kind of styling uh, this is typical for a map data that you can apply some kind of uh, styling to it so I'm going to style the map you see it's counting down here it's all a little bit rough this uh, script it's applying uh, some preset styles I defined in a text file here's the text file so I'm I'm naming some of them so I, I say here okay if there are houseboats you have to extrude them between 3 and 6 meters in this case but if there are apartments they are 15 between 30 between 15 and 30 meters and there are more styles and you can change it and let's see what Max is doing counting down almost done of course the bigger the area the longer it will take and this is not that much optimized but still it's a lot of data for a uh, max to um, cope with so there we go and uh, here is actual data so there are some gaps here uh, of course this can be solved by uh, changing the styling yeah you can uh, fill it in however you want here are some farms along the road it's really nice so let's uh, let's see how this looks when we render it out so th this already is a very quick way to get your data in um, um, oh to get a map inside of 3ds Max and look at that beautiful MLORD from the Netherlands in 3ds Max within 5 minutes well more on this soon
バイバイ。